Uh, it's gone viral on TikTok and other social media platforms. A very interesting video from Mark Boris, uh, the chairman of uh, Yellow Brick Road, and he put together a, a very honest, very frank video about how, uh, you know, back in the 90s, you know, during very difficult economic circumstances, he had to sell his own home and had four kids and you know it was a very stressful um, you know difficult time a very humbling experience um, and he shared that with you know his audience uh, because many people right now are doing it extremely tough and you know the key message I think Mark was was trying to make is that you can bounce back and you can recalibrate and you know you know better days will be ahead but sometimes you've got to take a bit of a hit a bit of a loss um, and get yourself out of um, you know sort of a heavy uh, weighted mortgage which you know might be sinking you um, and it was you know I think generally speaking pretty good advice at the moment I'm seeing a lot of very significant economic warning signs we've got the the rising cost of, of living uh, we've got a lot of pressure mortgage pressure in the market we're seeing very significant numbers of people who are going to be impacted by what's going on in the economy in my opinion uh, we're sort of just at the cusp of uh, a tsunami of unemployment that's going to come our way. Uh, I'm seeing companies that normally wouldn't be letting staff go, uh, letting fairly significant large numbers of people uh, go from the business. And this includes industries like the IT industry. And so we're seeing a lot of redundancies, a lot of corporate restructuring um, on the back of COVID and people working from home. Uh, a lot of employers are recalibrating they're realizing they don't need quite as many employees to to perform they've got people who are working in home offices and uh, there's a bit of a disconnect sometimes with those employees and uh, we're seeing a lot of people who normally wouldn't be on the market looking for work looking for work and I am not quite seeing the correlation between the numbers that we're being told um, and what I'm actually seeing in a day-to-day -day practice so so what does that mean? I think you have to pack your parachute, you have to be recession proof, you have to really think through how you can commercialize your own levels of income to ensure that you're, you're in a safe situation, that you can uh, really sort of you know survive and thrive during these difficult sort of times. And the number one way most people um, you know sort of generate wealth is through their own uh, activities and really commercializing themselves in terms of what they can offer to the market so it's a good time to stay really current uh, it's a good time to stay close to your bosses your management teams uh, be a high performing hard working employee this is not the time to be slacking off um, you know you want to be part of the solution not part of the problem uh, all companies are doing it a little bit tough at the moment so you know you really want to try and help and, and help your your employers uh, navigate through these difficult times um, so you want to make sure your main employment contract is as secure as it possibly can be you want to in your own household make sure you've eliminated as much debt as possible and, and keeping life as simple as possible um, so that you're not putting yourself under undue pressure this is maybe not the time to go and buy the fancy uh, BMW or the uh, take the expensive holidays um, and it's really a, a time to look at where you can achieve multiple sources of income where you could achieve other um, you know income that could you know bolster the household uh, budget and one of the ways you may consider that would be through maybe external board seats through facilitation through e-learning uh, through commercializing your thought leadership there could be a range of ways that you could commercialize uh, yourself um, and move away from that that strict concept of trading your time for 
money, t time for income. That has a, a finite limit to it. Uh, there's only so many hours in the week that you can commercialize yourself. But I've got a lot of clients at the moment that have second and third jobs and are juggling things in their spare time. I have a lot of clients who are corporate executives who literally drive Ubers on the weekend or, or have some sort of external business interests. Um, everyone's doing it a little bit tough at the moment and I think it's going to get a little bit tougher. And so now's the time to maybe think about where you could commercialize and by all means drop into my diary have a chat let's see what's possible how could we de-risk yourself from a recession and how could we ensure that you've got additional sources of income coming into your household